Hello and welcome to a new ADF tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to build crystals and slabs in ADF band. Now first what we are going to do is click on the snowflake button in the bottom and go to cubic sodium chloride. There are already a lot of crystal structures available in ADF so if you're lucky you can just get them from our database. We will keep all of the parameters default and we will map the atoms to a unit cell. Now we only see one unit cell with one sodium and one chloride atom. To view more you can go to view periodic repeat unit cells. Now we have a crystal structure of sodium chloride. To change this we can open up the dialog window of sodium chloride, cubic sodium chloride, but now we are going to change the crystal structure to lithium fluoride. By going to an atom, you can click on it and select another cation and anion. Change the parameters to 4.02. You can also select it from this preset here, lithium fluoride. And we will press OK and map the atoms to the unit cell. Now we have a lithium fluoride crystal structure. Other crystal structures have more parameters. So now we will go to snowflake, tetragonal, rutile, and we will click OK. As you can see, this is a more complicated crystal structure in a tetragonal orientation. Okay, now we can remove this crystal structure since I've showed you how to make it. Control A and delete. All of the available crystal structures and presets in the Snowflake tool are also available through the search option in the top right. And when you search sodium chloride under crystals, you can select sodium chloride. Here we have it, sodium chloride, again, the crystal structure. Now we are going to make rutile or titanium oxide again, but now we will do it from the space group setting under the snowflake button. The symmetry of titanium oxide is in space group number 136, and when you press enter, the parameters automatically change. We will change the lattice parameter slightly to 4.59 and 2.96 and define some atomic coordinates. Previous research on crystal structures, you will find that rutile has a titanium atom in size A and it has oxygens occupying the F side. As you can see, one of the parameters in the, for the oxygen can be changed, and we will change it to 0 0.3. And now we will press apply, and yes. As you can see, now we have rutile or titanium oxides crystal structure once again. And we will symmetrize it by pressing the start button. As you can see in the bottom left, you can see the symmetry group D4H to the power of 14, which is the symmetry group for titanium oxide or rutile. You can also switch from the crystal structure to a unit cell by clicking the four dots in the bottom of the toolbar. What you can also do with this button, if you right click it and change the top left vector to two, and press OK, you will see more atoms in your inputs. However, this might be taxing on your hardware. So I will change it back to one. You can also change the opacity of the neighboring unit cells by pressing Ctrl J or Ctrl K for some more organized pictures. 
Lastly, we are going to use the slicer to build slabs. So we are going to reset again. And we go to cubic, FCC, a face centered cell. Everything is already set for a copper surface, which we are going to make. Press OK. Now let's bring out the slicer tool in the bottom of the toolbar, which is this rectangle. And we are going to change the indices to one each. We will check the Cartesian box and select the number of layers three. And we'll press OK. And as you can see, we have now we now have three layers of copper atoms in our crystal structure. We checked the Cartesian box since the Miller indices are usually taught in conventional unit cells rather than the primitive unit cell. So when you have cubic unit cells, you might want to check this option. That was all for today's tutorial on how to build crystal structures and slabs in ADF bands. If you thought this tutorial was useful for you, please leave a like. Let us know in the comments down below what tutorial you would like to see next. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. And as always, take care.